Rosie's Place is a sanctuary for poor and homeless women. Um, basically, we're set up somewhat like a multi-service center, but we do our services in a very different way. We're really warm and engaging with the guests. The women determine what they need help with, and we do our very best to help them. So we have food services, legal services, advocacy services, education, food pantry, mental health groups, anger management, parenting, really whatever a woman comes in and identifies as a need, we do our very best to help them either on site or find an agency who can help. Hi, my name is Judy and I had a lot of personal tragedy that happened in my life between the death of my parents and my grandparents. And getting divorced, I became homeless and I ended up here at Rosie's place. They serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. They helped me with a lot of different things. One of them was housing. I have gone and volunteered at Rosie's Place twice before. The, the Black Leaders Forum uh, went out and did our service day there. Another employee resource group, the Latino Leaders in Action, presented an opportunity for employees to go out and volunteer there. And we had an amazing time. And when we arrived, I did see some pretty happy faces outside of the building. And as soon as I walked into the kitchen, I could feel the liveliness from um, the person that we were assigned with. One of the members of our um, Latino Leaders in Action ERG, Gladys Durham, was the one that was in charge of really bringing together the community service experience. And she was the one that brought to our attention this organization, Rosie's Place. The director of HR, Anastasia Bergman, she was there. And it was the first time that I got to um, volunteer with her. And she was on it. She was running around, um, bringing food, picking up, answering questions. And, you know, she's here very professional and getting stuff done. But then you look at her and, and it's, and this is what it's about. You know, when we volunteer, we really, um, we come down to who we really are and, and we, we come together to make a difference. After finding my housing, I was given a job here for one year. I work for the Women's Craft cooperative here at Rosie's Place. It's something that I want to continue after I leave here and do it on my own, maybe make it a career.